Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie, we're gonna look at the latest additions to the marketplace. And this week, there are a lot of additions. So pause the video now, get something to drink, maybe even get something to eat, and then continue to watch. So the first one is coming from Burning Blue Design, uh, known as the uh, 1B2 Katama Air Park. Uh, this is an air park. Uh, in the United States, uh, it's uh, Katama sprawls uh, along on the southern coast of the island of uh, Martha's Vineyard, right? And has a steeped here history. Uh, so what is included in this package? Uh, there are a lot of assets, including picnic tables and trees. Uh, there's a high resolution color corrected ground. Textures uh, take from Bing maps uh, and manipulated for consistency and realism. And uh, it's based on the 2022 uh, layout with accurate runway markings, taxiways, and is a working custom wind windsock. Uh, highly detailed restaurant and hangar interiors, uh, actual aircraft from the aerodrome that have been included, the Waco uh, UPF 7 biplane, uh, and then two of them with di different registration. And then the correct AI pattern procedures and accurate taxiway and runway placements. And there's a full uh, night lightning. Right, so there are not enough pictures, at least this one of them, right? But not the pictures below. But here you can see it, I would say it contains some nice details. So really cool, including uh, the static aircrafts. Then the next one is the 42HB uh, Hawksback Ranch, uh, created by 42. Uh, it's uh, located in Tehima County, California. And it's, well, it's a ranch which has, I would say, as you can expect, a runway. And the runway is uh, a very small one, as you can see. Uh, so it, there's a gravel one and there's a dirt one, uh, which is not maintained. And then there are certain helipads which you can use. Uh, there are certain approach uh, considerations and cautions mentioned here. Uh, there's lightning included, a windsock, uh, parking is included, a few store on site and depot in barrels, hand pump only, which is cool. And then they have some uh, amenities, uh, the swimming pool, the hangar, the stables, off-road vehicles and campsites with immaculate views. And a lot of custom things like vegetation, 3D, uh, library of underground assets, uh, custom stone fire rings. Uh, interior of the property modeled, right, so a lot of cool things. And here you can see some screenshots. Even a dog is included. <coughs> So, pretty nice one. Next one is the A310 International Hangar Number 1 created by Bravo Airspace. Uh, it's officially also part of the uh, Inibuilds, right? It's part of, let's say, it's not part of Inibuilds, but it's created for the Inibuild A310, which included in uh, Flight Simulator 2020. So, 16 real-life A310 international operators. Uh, some from Brazil, some from Canada, China, Germany, India, uh, Netherlands, Portugal, and Singapore. I won't go to all those individual ones, but you can see that they say did a lot uh, to have that in place. Besides that, there's also a hangar number two and three, and I do think that those those will be released on a later st stage, or maybe they have been included here later on in, on this list, but like I didn't see it yet. Then there's the A320 Ultra HQ Livery Spec 2 from Thomas Palfi and Perfect Flying. Also contains a lot of liveries for the A320 Neo model. Uh, 10 uh, liveries in total, right? Uh, British Airways, uh, Latam Air Airlines, uh, Chile, uh, Spirit Airlines, Viva Aerobus, uh, Air Code, uh, Devoir. And here are some screenshots, right? I'm not going to go to all of them due to the length of this video because of the lot of additions over here. You can see some examples, right? Then the next one is the Adventure World Rivers number. Say what is it? Between one and five. This is a package, right? As it looks like. So what they did is they created a bundle because we discussed this one already. Part, uh, I would say, a few videos back. It's created by Northheim Missions, which has created World Rivers, which will bring you along uh, a site. I would say nice rivers, uh, famous rivers, I should say, the Yukon, the Colorado, the Murray, the Rhine, and for breathtaking bush trips. So what I did now is they combined it in a package, and you can buy it for, I would say, uh, 
yeah, you can buy it for one price. So instead of paying out, say in my case, uh, 10 euro 49, I can buy it for 30 euros. Then the next one is the, uh, sorry, clicked one already. The next one is the uh, Airbus livery spec A310, A320, by, created by two pilots. Uh, also a lot of liveries uh, for the A320. You can see uh, these have been included, right? They split it up in uh, the continentals or in the continents, right? You, you can see Southeast American Airlines for the America Sport. Then you can see uh, Austrian, uh, British, Eurowings, KLM, uh, Norwegian. And for the Asia part, you can see Asiana, uh, China Eastern for Middle East, Qatar, Kuwait, and Gulver, and the Emirates. And for the Africa, South African, and Ethiopian, and therefore South America, uh, Tom Ladam, uh, Azul, and JetSmart. The same thing they did for the A310, right? So the A310, they also split it up. I'm not going to go to all of these, I would say, liveries, but you can see that for, I would say, for i would say a low amount of money you will get a lot of liveries uh, it's not mentioned here how many liveries are included but if i count this list it are well 40 plus maybe so really cool then the next one is uh aircraft checklist pro created by sofly so uh they also created the uh, weather preset pro and a guide to flight simulator they now release the Aircraft Checklist Pro, which gives you access to the aircraft-specific checklist uh, for all the included Microsoft Flight Simulator aircrafts. So it's an 80 plus uh, pane document, provides you with everything you need to get your aircraft from a cold and dark state to the skies and then back to the ground again before shutting down. Right. So what has been included? A checklist for all the aircrafts includes the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, there's a direct access via the inboard in sim toolbar right that's also what you can see here uh, everything from the a310 up to the uh, i would say cup crowds x cup right a little bit of repetition and then all the checklists uh, over 80 experimental design pages covering 45 plus uh, aircrafts including the recent aircrafts which have been added as part of the fourth anniversary update right 14th anniversary update i should say and this is what you will get Then the next one are the Alps and Lakes of Italy, created by Nordheim Mission. Uh, Nordheim Mission, right, we already discussed one of their, I would say, add-ons, which was specifically focused on a bundle. But this one is focused on the uh, Italian Alps, where you can fly around and enjoy the uh, romantic uh, backdrop, but also the nice scenery, of course, with the Cessna 152, for example. Uh, sites which uh, you can visit are uh, Lake Maggiore, uh, Lake Lugano, Lake Como, etc. So that's really cool. As well as, of course, the three peaks uh, and of the Dolomites. Uh, there's a bush trip, which is a classic style, which contains only the route instructions in the navigation log by request, right? And then you can change the weather, and this is how it looks like. So some nice pictures and a nice bush trip created again by Nordheim Missions. Then the next one is the Astro One, created by Godfriends, uh, available on both the Xbox as well as on the PC, right? It's kind of a futuristic uh, aircraft. Uh, it's an electric uh, vertical takeoff and landing craft, the Astro One uh, Godfriends' uh, first experimental take on this side of aviation. Uh, so pretty cool, right? Uh, what do you get? Well. It includes the avionics suite, right? The custom flight display system and the stick display system. It includes special features such as the custom flight model and the custom physics uh, engine. The Astro Corsa uh, race course. Uh, 24 original liveries. Uh, leader tra terrain tracking with safety altitude adjustments for boost overdrive with 30 seconds cooldown and some other nice options, right? The good thing is that it's also Xbox controller compatible, right? So you can also easily fly with this one uh, on the Xbox, at least. It should be easy. And here are some screenshots. The next one is the uh, Boeing 787-10 livery spec uh, created by F. Suarez. Uh, it includes 11 liveries uh, for the Boeing 787-10. 
8K resolution uh, for the following airlines, right? So some are uh, in Eastern or the Eastern part of the world. Uh, some of them are in the America's part of the world. Uh, so really cool. So what did they add, add as additional features? They rebuilt the tire texture in 4K. They added dirt and scratches. They unmirrored the engines and vertical stabilizer. Uh, they fixed missing ambient occlusion on the main gear door and then changed the fan running animation. So like, again, right? cool things which are coming up and you can see that i would say due to the i would say changes in the marketplace uh, admission you can see that you can see, uh, that there are a lot of things which are being added on a very short pace the next one is from prealsoft it's uh, berlin landmarks so again i would say in our uh, city which receives an update uh berlin right in germany has a lot of uh inhabitants 3.7 million uh and has several I'd say things which are known for that, right? It's uh, Berlin is run by the state of Brandenburg and contiguous of uh, with Potsdam and Brandenburg's capital. Uh, Berlin's urban area, which is a population of around 4.5 million, uh, in, the, in the second most pop, uh, populous Euro, uh, urban area in Germany after the Ruhr. So, what's included? Well, main city uh, Poise reproduced, uh, which includes the uh, Fernstam, the Donau City, Museum Island. A Reichstag and the uh, Gendarmen Mark and more. Night textures, uh, PBRs, uh, miscellaneous objects, uh, fully compatible with the Berlin airports, add on a photogrammetry and poise uh, icons. So here you can see some examples where you can see uh, the cool things, right? So you can see that these, I would say, sceneries are really handmade and have a lot of detail. So cool. Next one is the Chest Station CG4 Missions Asia Pack created by Sim Federation. Uh, this is a pack which includes all kinds of routes uh, in the Asia Pacific uh, region. Uh, it contains 10 different IFR uh, missions designed to give you the most realistic and enjoyable flight sim experience. Right, so I'm going to say go to all the details, but these are just some examples which you can fly, of course, with the CG4. Then the next one is the Cessna Citation CD4 Missions Global, created by the same developer, uh, Sim Federation. In this case, it also contains 10 different IFR flights, uh, but probably in a different part of the world. Uh, so it contains, let's say, from the cockpit uh, to the cabin announcements. Uh, each mission comes complete with both a uh, departure and arrival pattern and gives a new static or scenic uh, route to discover for hour upon hours uh, of pure flight simulator enjoyment, right? So here you can see uh, how it looks like. So really nice. Then there's a third one, which is taking part in Latin America for the Citation uh, CG4, uh, also created by the same developer. Then again, 10 IFR uh, missions, uh, which go throughout this nice part of the world, right? So enjoy it. Uh, or maybe you can also, I'd say, use these pictures to uh, program your flight uh, yourself using the uh, built-in flight simulator uh, tools, like the world map. Then the last one is Midi, Mid East and Africa. Again, 10 IFR flights. And here you can see what you will get. I'm really wondering if a lot of people will start buying these things, but let's see. Uh, that was this one, right? Oh, we missed one. North America, that's the last one. So again, 10 different flights, different region, of course. Uh, again, created by uh, Sim Federation. So if you'd like to fly pre-configured flights, then these are packages which you might consider to buy. Then there's the DH. Uh, C2 Hot Rods livery pack created by Stoll Addicts. Uh, it's, I would say, will add a few new liveries uh, to the DHC2. Uh, so it comes with uh, the 60s era sport inspired livery pack with a few that some American movie fanatics might recognize. So, right, so it's based on American movies. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, and here you can see some, uh, I would say, some screenshots of it. Ah, this was, we already had that one. 
Yeah, the next one is an airport. The first airport, it's Mal Lumole, uh, Lumole Airport, known for its iconic code Echo Delta Lima Mike, created by Spinoza. It's in Germany. It's a commercial airport in Mal, which is in the North Rhine Westphalia area. And it's close to the city of uh, Recklinghaus. Uh, so, what did happen to the aircraft? Uh, it has always been the home of the German Chaos Aviation Team. And since 2005, the R3 Club Goes uh, Airport Party has also been taking place at the airfield. Right? So, it does not really state okay, what's being included, but here are some screenshots uh, which you might, uh, might like to see. Including refueling stations, some other scenery. Traffic tower, firefighters. Next one is uh, Solent Airport, known for as a cow goat, Echo Golf home, uh, Hotel Foxtrot, created by Burning Blue Design. Uh, so the airport is uh, on the south coast uh, in the United States, or United Kingdom, sorry, uh, between the cities of uh, Southampton and Portsmouth. And the Solent Airport is a busy, busy civilian airport with a local flight school, right? Uh, the HM Coast Guard Search and Rescue and Spitfires.com uh, all calling it their home. So it's not only for civilian, but also a little bit for, I'd say, uh, search and rescue. So there are more than 200 custom 3D objects. It's based on the 2022 layout with the accurate runways, taxiways, and custom uh, signs. Highly detailed tower, animated hangar doors, three helipads, uh, completely custom windsock and dynamic animated flags, uh, animated specter spectators, Optimize the blend in with the local photo, grammatary, and some other nice stuff. So here you can see some screenshots of this airport. So a lovely airport. Next one is also created by Burning Blue Design. It's the Demens Hell Aerodrome. Known for its cow code, Echo Golf Mike Lima. Um, it's located inside of the M25 motorway in SA, Essex, UK. Uh, it's known as uh, Greatest London's most uh, accessible aer aerodrome, large, largely because it is only five minutes away from Upminster Underground and Rail Station, making it a very 40 minute uh, trip from hustle and bustle of central London. So, this I would say is a Nice one, right? So what does it have? 60 custom 3D objects, again, based on accurate uh, data, right? In this case from 2023. Uh, full custom night, animated hangar doors with clothes and night uh, completely. Uh, custom windsock, animated spectators. Uh, then there are, are static aircrafts, including the uh, Boeing Stearman PT-17, the Tiger Club, the Havilland DH-82, DH, uh, and the Club Piper Super, Club, Super Cup. Uh, some high color uh, corrected ground textures from Bing Maps and manipulated from consistency and realism. Uh, enhanced local surroundings, including the EWS uh, wedding cars, the Gurbins Farm Airfield, and the local industrial uh, estates. Uh, so here's some screenshots on the top. It's also a nice one. Then the next one, we need to scroll further is the Greeks Airport bundle created by Iron Sim. It's a bundle of packages. Uh, so it includes uh, Karpafos Island Airport, Kalimos Airport, uh, Kitira Airport, and the Castellizioro Airport. Uh, so I'm not gonna go into more detail, right? So if you would like to have four nice airports added to Flight Simulator, then consider buying this bundle because you will get some discount uh, compared to buying them separately. Then we've got the Kilimanjaro International Airport, known for its ICAO code Hotel Tango Kilo Juliet, created by uh, Vuelo Simple. Uh, right, so it's an international airport in the Kilimanjaro region, Tanzania. Uh, the airport serves the cities of Arusha and Moshi, uh, and the airport mainly serves uh, regional flights as well as long haul services due to, the, due to its importance of a as a leisure destination. Uh, so here you can see some screenshots of it. including the roads to the airport, 
so a nice one including people waiting uh, for their aircraft to take off then from heaven designs the iguazu false enhanced so the uh landmarks made for uh Fos do Iguoko, a city named uh, known for the Iguazu Falls and the border with uh, Argentina and Paraguay. What does it include? It includes the custom 3D models, PBR textures and better night lightning. Contains uh, three bridges, the Ami, Amizade Bridge, the Fartinada Bridge and the Inter Intergracio Bridge. As well as several buildings including several residences and towers and a mall. Uh, some landmarks, the Mosquito and the Ferris Wheel. And two helipads, the Helisu Panoramic Flight and the Helisu Maintenance uh, Center. It does not include the main airport, uh, Cheryl Bravo, Foxtrot, India. So be aware of that. And here you can see some screenshots of it. So mainly a package which contains, I would say, bridges as well as buildings for this area. Then we've got a 9030 Allen Sound, Bethlehem, uh, Eastern or Bedlam as the Eastern International Airport, uh, Cape 1935. Uh, the Department of Commerce's Bureau of Aviation has re had rented 50 acres of farmland to be used as an emergency landing air strip for airmail pilots. And that's what it will add to flight simulator, right? So it's, uh, I would say, an old airport which has been added, uh, but with a lot of details. So they added the... Uh, 4K textures, 2K for Xbox, detailed for, uh, 30s buildings, cars and trucks, uh, flex and wind socks, static 30s aircrafts, uh, air illuminations at night, and the manual world, USA, and local history maps. So here it states that it's not compatible with any other scenery in the same location in 2020, so you need to be aware of that. Then the next one is uh, Archbold Airport 1935, also created by the same developer it's kilo alfa romeo uh, charlie so it's an intermediate emergency landing uh, field uh, which was used from 1990 to 1937 and uh, electrical system powered the aerial light number 19c uh new york yes uh, yankee and the field that was eliminated uh, for night landing right so the same uh, characteristics as the previous one and here you can see some uh, some screen or one screenshot yeah, one screenshot. Down from UK 2000 scenery, the Chicago Aurora Municipal Airport, known for its cow code Kilo Alpha Romeo Romeo, uh, requires the UK 2000 scenery common library, right? So that's a dependency, so keep that in mind. Uh, so the airport is, I would say, approximately uh, eight miles west of the city of Aurora. And the airport is designated as a reliever airport for Chicago O'Hara and the Midway Airport. So it's more like a say, kind of a backup airplane or airport to release the uh, number of traffic arriving at those airports. So uh, it's made from HD photogrammic images uh, for PBR. It has, of course, the lightning. It has AI traffic. It's based on the airport as it was in 2021 and is optimized with a new uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And here you can see some pictures of it including some people in the uh, terminal buildings. So, pretty cool. Then, going down the list, we're at the Austin Bergstrom International Airport, known for as a cow code Kilo Alpha Uniform Shera, created by a Dominic Design Team. Uh, Austin Bergstrom International Airport is a Class C international airport in Austin, Texas, US, and serves the greater Austin met metropolitan area. It's uh, five miles or eight kilometers southwest of the downtown Austin. Uh, it has two runways, three helipads. Uh, so that's cool. So what does it include? Uh, PBR texture, of course, dynamic lightning, real ground markings, uh, custom painstakingly handcrafted pavement, uh, showcasing all imperfectionisms, including dirt, uh, custom jetways, custom animated uh, objects, passenger information, and uh, bus airport animation. So, a lot of animated stuff in here. Then the next one is the 9035 Belfont Airport. Kilo Bravo Echo 1, created by Red Wing. Again, this is probably, I would say, an emergency airport, right? Or it was a major airport for refueling, stop and mill traveling between 
from New York to Chicago. Uh, same characteristics as the previous one created by Red Ring, right? So uh, make sure it's not compatible or make be aware that it's not compatible with other uh, add-ons. So here you can see some uh, some screenshots, right? Then the next one is the Nashville International Airport, Kilo Bravo November Alpha, created by Field Tree. Um, well, where is it? Uh, the airport uh, features four runways uh, with non flights in North America and uh, Europe. Uh, the airport code is BNA, right? Or KBNA, uh, as you can see, um, which stands for Bur Barry Field Nashville in honor of uh, Colonel Harry S. Barry. Uh, it's one terminal with four concourses and in total 45 gates. Uh, and here you can see what they have included. Thousand custom model buildings with high textures and complete uh, ground polygon, uh, including all the lines, custom animated jet jetways, enhanced night lightning, elevated taxiway riches, uh, updated AFCAT with corrected taxi names, taxi signs, etc. And improved taxiway lightning, as well as the terrain slopes or are more real compared to the current ones and here you can see some of the screenshots scrolling down the list then we've got the nashville international airport kb and a but then created by a different developer so you can see that there's also i'd say a lot of people working on the same things uh which is i would say cool um Although I do think that this might be the Nashville. Yeah, no, this was the same one as the previous one. So what did they include? Uh, well, almost the same fully accurate taxi pathways, true to life ap aprons and markings, uh, more than 20 custom taxi markings and signs, upgrade runways, improved ground materials and textures, accurate commercial gates, aviation parking, position, numeration and services, and great and enhanced accurate night lightning. Uh, as you can see, the picture are still loading. So let's say it's either this one or the previous one, right? Uh, then again, Red Wing with uh, the 1935 Brookville Airport, known for Takao Goat, Kilo Bravo, Oscar One. Uh, part of the New York to Chicago Airway. Uh, it was a resting place to wait out of a storm or make an emergency landing. Uh, same characteristics. Uh, screenshots are a little bit dark. But you can see that I would say if we go scroll it back to this one, right? It's really old style, so that's cool. Then again from Red Wing, the Baltimore Logan Airfield, known for its cow goat, Kilo Bravo Whiskey One. Uh, same characteristics, uh, I'd say same airway, but in this case it was uh, for flights between Baltimore and Washington, New York, Atlantic City, and Miami. And here you can see some some screenshots of it. Also some static aircrafts if you look over here so that's cool then again from red wing the cleveland airport 1935 known for its cow code kilo charlie lima echo so in 1925 it was used for the commercial air mill route uh, which was already reported for seven years with a new uh, terminal was in uh, inaugurated in 1927 the stout air service inaugurated the first regular passenger service between detroit and cleveland uh, 4K textures, detailed Ferdis buildings, again, static 330s aircrafts, uh, and all kind of other nice things. Then, the McCool Airport, 1935, known for its code, Kilo Charlie Oscar 1. Uh, same characteristics as uh, i'd say all the other airports but here you can see a screenshot right so it's let's say again a 9035 style airport then from pachiman 287 the dallas love air love field airport known for chacao code kilo delta alpha lima it's just six miles from downtown dallas texas serves the main base of operations and headquarters for southwest airlines and gives service to more than 70 destinations within the united states so what did they include? They included the fully accurate taxi paths according to the latest KDAL charts, true to life, aprons and mark, uh, parkings, more than 50 custom taxi markings and signs, updated runway and runway lightning, improved ground materials and textures, 
accurate commercial gates, aviation parking, position, enumeration of services, and greatly enhanced and accurate night lightning, as well as some static aircrafts. And here you can see how it looks like. So also pretty nice. Then, I think we're all over the, I would say 50% now. 9035 Hoover Airfield created by uh, Red Wing, KDC-1. Uh, so it uh, was purchased by the owner of the nearby Washington Air, uh, Airport in 1929, uh, causing a brief merger of the two airports. Uh, so what did they include? Again, the 30 style, uh, 30 style aircrafts, buildings, cars and trucks, right? So if you like, I'll say using legacy airports, then I'd say this is definitely a de developer which you need to keep an eye on. Because they also developed the Newark Liberty International Airport, Kilo Echo Romeo, uh, Whiskey Romeo. Uh, it was the first major airport in the metro metropolitan area and rapidly became the world's busiest commercial airport. And this one might conflict with the existing airport, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, this is the, I'd say, uh, Content which has been included, right? The 30 is uh, buildings, cars and trucks, uh, 30s aircraft, P uh, 4K, uh, PBR textures, aircraft illuminations, uh, non-stop pickup, air mill with some Red Wing planes. So it looks like that they also animated some other stuff. So that's cool. Then the Green Bay International Airport, Kilo Golf Romeo Bravo, patch 287 again. Uh, Green Bay Austin uh, Straubel International Airport. Uh, it's a public airport, seven nautical miles southwest of the downtown Green Bay main city, which it serves. Uh, it has a main terminal with 12 gates and has two runways, uh, both equipped with ILS, so that's cool. Uh, what has been included? Well, here you can see the, the same things, which uh, say Pachimon 287 is including in his other airports. It's also included here, right? So true to life. Uh, parking gate locations, custom taxiway markings, upgrade one ways, etc. So really cool. And here you can see some pictures of it. Then a 9035 airport again from Red Wing, the Gushen Municipal Airport, Kilo Golf Shera Hotel. Uh, Say it's the effort was used as a merge landing strip with mill uh, planes, like we saw with some other airports, uh, which they developed. Uh, same characteristics again, a 30s building, and here you can see some screenshots or actually two screenshots. Then the next one is the uh, Jacksonville International Airport, known for Chicago code Gilo Juliet Alpha X ray. Uh, it's a civil and military airport. Um, 30 miles north of downtown uh, Jacksonville in Dolphin, Duval County, uh, Florida. And has, I would say, it's used both for national and international flights. Uh, so it has more than 50 customer taxiway markings and signs, uh, true to life aprons and parkings, updated runway and runway lightning, updated cargo and military aprons and terminals. So that's cool. Accurate commercial and German, uh, general aviation aprons, positioning numer numerations and services, and a detailed F, A, and G apron. Uh, great enhance and extra accurate night lightning as well as some static aircrafts, right? It's fully compatible with the major uh, payware and free airport mods. So that's also interesting to understand. So here you can see a night shot. And here's some static aircrafts. And this is the military part. Then we've got LaGuardia Airport, uh, 1935 style, created by Red Wing, Kilo Lima Golf Alpha. Uh, it was in that case... in. During that time, it was used as a private sea place, uh, seaplane base uh, in, on the northern beach. Uh, right, so it had some qu uh, quick routes uh, to Albany and Atlantic City, then to Boston and uh, Savio Marchetti. Uh, so cool airport. I think same same pieces as we already knew from this developer. Then. 1935, Midway, Chicago, KM, or Kilo Mike Delta Whiskey. Uh, it was um, established in 1927. Midway was Chicago's main airport until the opening of O'Hara International Airport in 1955. 
This is again, I would say, 3D style. So they replaced everything, right? You can see 3D styled uh, aircrafts, but also the buildings in a 3D style, and even the aircrafts and the hangars. But I would say, really nice. The Mercer Airport 1935 KM or Kilo Mike Echo 1, also created by Red Wing. Uh, it's an intermediate field site number 40 along the Chicago and New York Airways, right? Mercer an was an intermediate field site, so yeah, somewhere in between. Uh, again, in 30 uh, style with 4K textures uh, and not so many screenshots, to be honest. Then from BM World and AmSim, the Memphis International Airport, known for its Chicago code Kilo Mike Echo Mike. It has animated jetways, uh, custom uh, markings, high resolution custom ground textures, dirt and other details, surrounding buildings fully modeled, uh, detailed terminal interior, parallax uh, windows, uh, airplane codes assigned to each parking, and fully compatible with FSLTL uh, traffic. The airport itself is used, used by both uh, civil uh, as well as uh, civil as well as military airport and it's uh, 11 kilometers uh, southwest of downtown memphis in shelby county tennessee united states it's the primary international airport serving memphis so really cool it's also the home of the fedex express uh, global hub also now referred to as the fedex super hub or simply super hub uh, which is used by fedex right so here you can see some of the uh, interior and this, uh, this one is looks looks nice Here's the FedEx hub. Fire station. Cool thing. Then we've got the Montauk Airport. Known for its cow code Kilo Mike Tenga, Tango uh, Papa. Created by Skytitude. Uh, it's a general aviation airport located in the East Lake Drive between Lake Montauk and Block Island South Sound. Uh, it's the easternmost airport in New York uh, State. It has a one asphalt runway. Uh, it is only uh, 989 uh, meters in length and 25 meters wide. And there's one helipad. Uh, so what is included? The wonderful, wonderful representation of the airport, of course. The actual layout data. Uh, custom materials and surfaces with uh, physical based rendering effect, PBR. Highly detailed buildings and ground surfaces. And then detailed surroundings. And the large area of detailed handcrafted photo terrain. Right, so... And here you can see how it looks like. And this one is, I would say, looks pretty nice, right? They spent really some time on uh, developing this airport. Then on 1935 airport again, the Philadelphia International Airport, created by Red Wing, Kilo Papa Hotel Lima, again in 3D style. Uh, it, uh, the Philadelphia Municipal Aviation lo uh, Landing Field was officially established in 1927. Uh, it was not that it was less dormant during the Great uh, Depression. It was not until the 1937 uh, that the first terminal was built. And I would say nice, right? But it look, I'm wondering if they, yeah. So here you can see, right? Really an old style. So pretty cool. Then the Sky Harbor Phoenix, Phoenix International Airport, known for Chicago code Kilo Papa Hotel X-Ray, created by BM World and MSIM. That was one of the developers which we already discussed also. It's a civil and military airport, uh, three miles east of downtown Phoenix uh, in Maricopa County, Arizona, United States. And it's Arizona's largest and busiest airport and among the largest commercial airports in the U.S. in 2021. Uh, it's also the home of the 161, uh, 161st uh, Air Refueling and uh, Air Mobility Command uh, gain, Gains United of the uh, Arizona Air National Guard, right? So this was a military role. So what's included? The animated Skytrain, animated jetways, custom ground markings, high resolution custom ground textures, dirt and other details surrounding buildings, uh, airline codes assigned to each parking and fully compatible with FSLTL. See the fire trucks, UPS. Then here we see the uh, Arizona Air Na Naval aircrafts. We can see the Skytrain. Cool. 
Pretty cool one. Then the Laport Municipal Airport 935 style KPPO Red Wing. Uh, it was Elmore, a brewing game uh, in a local resident built in a turbulent aircraft monoplane. He could be the first uh, American to fly controlled monoplane, but the evidence from the time is limited, right? So there's not real evidence. Uh, Laporte was an emergency landing uh, field with Beacon Light 05, uh, road to Chicago to New York. Again, it's a 30 style, right? So all cars have been replaced with 30, uh, 30 style cars and also 30 style aircrafts. Then we've got Florida Southwest International Airport, Kilo Romeo Cheryl Whiskey, created by Pachaman and Fazi. Uh, it's located in the western coast of Florida, serves the south southwestern region of Florida, including Fort Myers, Naples, and Punta Gorda metropolitan areas, and the second most used single runway airport in the U.S. Uh, 3D models, 8C tower and firefighting building added custom cargo terminal and general aviation prawn enhanced commercial terminals uh, accurate gate locations uh, true to charge taxiway namings uh, RSW VOR has been added right so they added a VOR beacon enhanced apron and taxi surfaces to match real life and the enhanced approach lights and of course custom painted lines and more than 10 custom 3D uh, model buildings and here you can see uh, some uh, screenshots of it. Then Tampa International Airport created by Vertical Sim, known for its cow code, uh, Kilo Tango Papa Alpha. Uh, so the airport uh, is the biggest, uh, is Vertical Sim's biggest destination yet, yet, right? So it's the biggest one they developed. It's an airport on the west coast uh, of uh, Florida. It serves over 21 airlines and three cargo airlines. Uh, it's, I'd say, really, it's a really big one. What did they include? The animated passengers with half uh, interior air sites and terminals, uh, 2023 taxi layouts, uh, proper AI routing, uh, vehicle pathing airline codes, uh, custom taxiways, custom airline, airport lightning, blended custom and photorealistic texturing for best of both worlds, uh, animated HVAC, fans, flags, and trams. Uh, hand-crafted mesh with taxiway bridges and a high resolution 0.5 feet. So, and there's the uh, surrounding area that marks the Raymond James International Plaza and the Grand Hyatt. And this, oh, move over here. Fire trucks, jetways, cool stuff. Then the Trenton Mercer Airport, 1935 style KTTN, created by Red Wing. Uh, so, uh, what is it? Uh, on 22 years later, in 1929, the Skillman Airport opened it to the public, right? Initially, it was not open to the public, but later on, they did. Again, this is a 30 style uh, airport. Everything is in 30 style. So cool. Now we've got the Indianapolis Executive Airport, created by UK 2000 Scenery, KT or Kilo Tango, uh, Yankee, Quebec. It's a public airport located in Zionsville, Edmonton uh, County, in, the, in Indiana, in United States. Uh, it started a while ago, right, in 1957 as a Terry Airport. Uh, so... Today, it's one of the most important parts of the Indianapolis aviation community and serves as a vital link between the city and the rest of the world. Uh, so a lot of cool things which are coming up, right? Uh, it has ILS instrument approach instrument approach for runway 26 and air approach for runway 18 and 36. It has uh, poppy lights. Um, and there is also, uh, I would say, pilot controlled runway lights by remote control. Yeah, that one hasn't been simulated yet by Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, their scenery is created by HD uh, photographic images that uses PBR uh, materials and high detailed models reach, uh, researched and based on real airports. So they really spent some time on creating this one. And here are some screenshots uh, which you can see, right? So.
It's a nice one. Then the next one is a brief Suyak Airport, known for its cow code, Lima Foxtrot, uh, Cheryl Lima, created by Heaven Designs. It is the brief Suyak Airport. It's located in France and serves the city of Brief and Suyak. So it's in France. It currently is capable of to receive an ATR and Boeing 737-800 flights or smaller ones. It includes custom 3D models, custom textures, functional flags, and they removed the default ground uh, textures. And here you can see some screenshots of it. Some flags. So cool. Then the Tivat Airport, known for Chicago, Lima, Yankee, Tango, Victor, created by ORBX. It's the Indy uh, Russia Tushikov Airport. Uh, that's I would say, uh, which is cool. Uh, it's the next uh, amongst the uh, coastal mountains of Montenegro. Uh, and it is a challenge for pilots due to its location in the valley and strong winds. So if you want to challenge yourself, this is probably uh, something you want to try out. All right? There's not a lot of details what they included, but as you can see, they've got the, I would say, passengers terminals, which are populated. Uh, likely all the other stuff like high uh, 4K PBR, uh, some other nice things. So pretty cool. Then we've got the Poprot International Airport Pack, uh, known for Chicago code Lima Zulu Tango Tango, created by Flying Partners Slovakia. It's a pack, right? So a um, pack means that you will get multiple airports in this case. Uh, I'd say I would expect. Uh, but in this case, you can see it's, or it's uh, oh, three. It's not a complete pack. It's the FPS uh, library pack. That's the thing. So it's a different airport. It's our own single airport with, I would say, an uh, FPS library pack. So a cool airport. Uh, started a long time ago. It stay, uh, served the state of uh, Bratislava, Sliak, Poprad, Preshov, and started flying from Poprad. Um, say what. Uh, Sometimes the text will say a little bit hard to, to read, right? But it's always a cool one. So what's included? Because it makes it easier. 2.5 months of work. Well, that's good. Uh, newly modeled buildings covered with photo textures created uh, in 2022. Custom buildings and hangars. Uh, custom airplanes and cars. Uh, a lot of custom objects. Uh, 2,588 2, pieces hand-picked, uh, edited and fitted uh, 3D objects. And a lot of other things. I'm not going to go to the full list. And it's, frame, uh, uh, it's frames per second friendly, right? And you can see that they included even, uh, I would say, the interior of the uh, traffic tower. So cool. Then Poprat at Tatry Airport, created by Proper Lima Zulu Tango Tango. Uh, it's uh, located in Slovakia, Central Europe. Poprat is a perfect destination for a long weekend, right? So if you like to go fly out to the flight simulator for a long weekend, then you can do it because you can even rush down the sky slopes of the Zako Pain in the winter time. Uh, the airport is not only for GA traffic, right? Uh, with its uh, 2600 uh, long concrete runway, you can land easily in, the, as a, in a business jet or a short haul commercial aircraft. Uh, as Wizz Air is operating their A320 from London. And here you can see who is there right on the picture. So cool. Then the next one right here, you can see, the, you can see a lot of, I would say, people work on the same things. <laughs> Again, the next one is the Zlina International Airport Pack, a known for Chicago, Lima, Zulu, Zulu, India, created again by Flying Partners, Slovakia. Uh, so, it's the birthplace of uh, civilian professional uh, pilots. Uh, the airport situation is approximately 15 kilometers from the city center of Zelina and 12 kilometers from the city's uh, rail station. What's included? Well, they spend a lot of time on it. Uh, they uh, used the picture from 2021. They added custom buildings and hangars of the Zelina Airport Aero Club and university with detailed textures, custom airplanes and cars, uh, a lot of custom objects, 3D buildings, etc. And it's uh, frames per second friendly. And here you can see some of the screenshots. Cool. Then the uh, Tradewind Airfield, 
I got go uh, Mike Alpha 44. Uh, it's created by B Burning Blue Design. Um, it's located, I would say, close to uh, Mart's Vineyard Legend, uh, Jack Mayhem, Mayhew Pilot, uh, Fish Puller, and Guitar Tuner uh, Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Well, hard word. Uh, so, what's included in this package? Uh, tens of thousands of carefully placed assets. Uh, including picnic tables, high resolution pictures, based on a 1980s run, a layout and runway, right? So it's a little bit older aircraft, highly detailed uh, air, aircraft, airport. Highly detailed hangar interiors, actual uh, aircraft from the aerodrome have been included, the Fish Potter Piper G3 Cup, the American Champion, uh, Fisher, Fisher Spotter American Champion 8K Cap, Decathlon, uh, they, corrected, they corrected the AI pattern procedures and uh, accurate taxi run, Taxi and runway placement, and that's cool. And here you can see, I would say, one of those screenshots, right? So, small one, but it's it's nice. Then, created by M Scenery, the MBB BO105. It's a highly detailed model, fully animated. Uh, it's a helicopter, right? It's 3D cockpit, animated 90%, frame rate friendly in a single multiplayer. Uh, highly textured details, 4K, 8, 8K, high definition PBRs. Uh, it's a Messerschmitt uh, Bokov Blombo uh, 105. It's a twin engine, a uh, multi purpose helicopter uh, developed by Boko of uh, Otto Brun uh, in West Germany. It was the first light twin engine uh, helicopter in the world and the first rotor aircraft that could perform uh, aerobatic maneuvers such as inverted loops. Well, if you want to fly inverted loops, then this might be, let's say, one of the helicopters you want to use. Here's the outside. Then, the New Jersey North Bridges, created by uh, Archie Bridger. Uh, well, this contains several bridges in the, uh, let's say, in the uh, New Jersey area, right? Uh, west of uh, New York City, it covers the bridge of uh, Hacking Sack Ridge River from the Path Lift Bridge, about four miles northeast of Key uh, Newark Airport, uh, to the I 80 Hackensack Bridge, uh, just north of the uh, Teterboro Airport. So, these are the bridges which are included. I'm not going to go to all of them, but a lot of things, right? So, let's have a look at it. So nice. If you like bridges, then this is a pack which you might want to have. Then there's the Doha Hamad International Airport, uh, Oscar Tango Hotel, hotel created by MXI Design. Uh, it's in the state of Qatar, in the home of Qatar's uh, flag carrier air airline, Qatar Airways, of course. Um, has been awarded with several awards. Uh, that's all kind of cool, but it's not really clear what they did include. So let's have a look at it. Passengers in terminals. From this picture, it looks like it's pretty detailed, including the runways which have received updates. Night, night lightning. A lot of hangers. So pretty cool. And also including the VDGS. Uh, Right, the the uh, signs which show you the aircraft, and the, uh, the the time and temperature. So cool. Then Ottawa Bridges, created by R. K. Bridger. It's in this case a different region, same developer. It's uh, what they did is they added uh, 14 original bridge, uh, bridges, uh, representing of the presentative of the architectural style and dimensions. Uh, night lightning has been uh, up, has been applied. Um, so that's cool. What bridges are included? Well, this long list. I'm not going to go to each of them individually. So let's let's move down to the screenshots, which are included. So pretty cool. Down we've got the Junia International Airport, Papa Alpha Julia November, created by Norton Sky Studio. It's a public airport and seaplane base located seven nautical miles uh, northwest of the central business district. Of Junau, it's a city uh, in the uh, a city and borough in the U.S. state of Alaska. It has no direct road access to the outside world, so that's cool. It's a 
7.6 miles above sea level. It has one runway designated 8 slash 26 asphalt. And there are several, I'd say, airline operators, right? Alaska Airlines, Delta Airlines, Alaska Seaplanes, Wardair, and Harris Air are now operating. There's domestic uh, routes from uh, Juneau to Seattle, uh, Ketchum, Pittsburgh, uh, several other ones. And the main plane on this route is the Boeing 737-700 passenger cargo and a mixed modification by Alaska Airlines, as well as helicopter routes. So what's included? The detailed replica of the airport, uh, custom surroundings, uh, all materials created with full PBR, uh, shadowing and occlusion effects, high resolution, use of the native high efficiently gift models. And this is one of the screenshots. This is a really nice one. Even in the interior of the, I would say, uh, tower, interior of the terminal buildings. So cool. There and there's the Pilatus PC6 livery pack, number one, created by DC Scenery Design. Well, it contains 28 liveries for all uh, variations. And these are just some screenshots, right? So uh, simply a livery pack for the Pilatus PC6. So if you own it, then you can add some more liveries. Then there's the uh, Eskimo Airport. Uh, it's a cow code is Shara Alpha Victor Echo Simulation Extrema. It's a new airport developed in PBR with high quality 4K textures. Uh, where is it located? Uh, it's located, uh, it's, or it's based on the new consecution and designs for a new uh, Brigadier Grau uh, Antonio Parodi International Airport in the city of Esquo, which is in the process of modernization, right? So it's an airport. It's, I say, it's an airport which in real life gets an update. Uh, it's located in the province of uh, Chubut in the heart of Argentina, Patagonia. Uh, it's known for its uh, strong winds that even most uh, experienced pilots have respect for to the sector. So what's included? The modeling of structures according to the new airport improved plan. High quality 4K textures, custom jetways, custom floor texture and tracks. Modeling of the interior of the terminal as well as of the control tower. So cool. Then the next one is the Oscar Machado Zuluco Airport, a non for Chicago code, a share of Victor Charlie Shera, created by TDM Scenery Design. It's the largest private airport in Venezuela, located in the city of uh, Chawalava in the state of Miranda. Uh, so then there's some more information about the airport. Uh, so it contains buildings, static models with high quality modeling and texturing. And this is some screenshots of the airport. Nice. Then the Azure Poly developers created the Transal C-160. It's a military aircraft uh, of retirement from the French military service in 2022 and more than a lot of fly hours combined. Uh, this is the aircraft, right? So you can uh, use it or you can, can try it. Uh, what, what's included in this case, well, highly optimized 3D models and texture packages for, for more FPS, uh, fully modeled cockpit and cargo bay, 11 liveries, 8K resolutions, uh, extension use of detailed maps for good and close renderer, high quality sounds, uh, functional, functional exist, including uh, cargo ramp doors and windows with dynamic sound variations. Uh, fully animated cockpit, including all the switches, buttons, etc. Gouges, well, everything you want to have looks to be included, uh, including even a custom electronic flight bag. And here are some screenshots, right? So, so if you like flying on a C60, this would be probably one you might want to buy. Then we're going back to 935 uh, USA, created by Red Wing. Uh, well, what has been included in this case? Uh, several items. Uh, the USA 935, uh, it modifies simply Microsoft Flight Simulator. So it reduces the nighttime illumination, 
I mean, that's more than 121 aerial lighthouses to track nighttime routes over the US. So it really brings you back in 1935. So everything has been replaced. So that's cool. So some specific areas uh, have been rebuilt. Hollywood sign, Hoover Dam and Mount Rushmore. Right, that's what we just saw on the top. So this will bring back the US in 1935 style. Then the next one, the Moscow uh, Domodedovo Airport. <laughs> I'm pronouncing it really bad, sorry. Uh, uniform Uniform Delta Delta created by Digital Design. It's one of the four major Moscow airports, one of the large airports in Russia. It serves a lot of flights. Uh, it's one of the 20 busiest airports in Europe and was renamed uh, in honor of the Russian uh, scientist Mikhail uh, Lomonosov. Yeah, Lomonosov, hopefully I pronounced it correctly. And this is what's included, right? So including terminal buildings, trains, static uh, cars, static uh, aircrafts, including several ones in the hangars. So this also looks nice. Then, finally, the last one, the ranked Rackhampton Airport, uh, Yankee Bravo Rima, Romeo Kilo. Uh, it's in the beef capital of Australia, created by ORBX. Yes, ORBX, uh, created by the developer Rob Byrne. Uh, it's in the south, uh, to uh, I would say, of the Mackay Airport, uh, to the Rockhampton in uh, central uh, Queen Queensland. So it's located in central Queensland. That's where it is. Uh, so. Uh, it serves uh, flights to Mackay, Kearns, uh, Townsville and Brisbane with additional service to other cities uh, coming soon with new Australian low-cost airliner Bonza. Right, so that's cool. It also has scheduled services. The Royal Flying Doctors and the Helicopter Rescue Service are based at the airport and doing military exercise in the area. Uh, various types of military aircraft are common sight on this airport. So and this is what you will get from ORBX. And this was it, right? So this was the lengthy list. I would say a real lengthy list. Uh, we might have rushed a little bit fast to it to some of the items, but hey, we went to 71 items, which are now added to the uh, marketplace in Flight Simulator 2020. So I think this is one of the, I would say, most busy weeks uh, which uh, which they had, right? And that's also it might also be caused by the change which they made to the uh, marketplace, especially the policies where... They kind of said, hey, if developers are responsible for testing it correctly and then they will release it. Uh, so pretty cool. So again, here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.